Oh, rightio. So, let me try again, boys. Uh, my stuff's kind of uh, a bit boofed right now. Sorry, bear with me. Let me move that over there. Oh, right move that over there. God, I didn't expect this to happen. I do apologise. Uh, does that work? That works. Move that back here. Got that there. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, No idea what happened. Right, so people are uh, slowly coming back into the chat. Um, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know what happened then. My my streamlabs just like completely pooed itself. No idea why. Don't know what caused it. But uh, I I believe that we are now uh, we're now back in business. So we should be ready to go. Just going to make my stream stuff a bit bigger so I can see it all nice and easy. That's all good. That's all good. Right. I'm back. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. The stream just it completely destroyed itself. Um, this game is far better than Milestone games. Um, I, was, I was laughing just now with Charlie and Discord about them pushing Monster Energy Supercross 5 so hard just after Jet mentioned MX Simulator. It's like, no, everyone must play Monster Energy Supercross because it's the worst game on the, on the planet. So, uh, yeah. That was all good fun. Um, right, let's move that to there, that to there. I feel like my stuff's like proper delayed now. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you can start, Greeno. Uh, so this is an enduro race, boys. It's uh, it's an invitational, um, so it's not open to uh, to everyone. Stream stream just kind of like poo pooed itself. No idea why. So hopefully everyone can can get back in. Yes, ready. Ready there, ready there. Got the setup on that I need. Done that. So yeah, so this is a 40 minute plus one lap enduro. Um, it's not open to anybody. It's an invitational. Therefore, you had to be invited to it. Uh, so not an open lobby, password protected, all that good stuff. Um, and it's going to be a raining 40 minute enduro. So I've maxed out the fuel here. I'm on my normal 450 only because I got a setup uh, for whoops, and this track is basically ink, but it's all whoops essentially. So we'll see how it goes. Now I'm hoping it's hoping it goes okay. Uh, thank you, thank you for the uh, the aerial stuff. Let's move that up there. Okay, yeah, Streamlabs is, is Streamlabs is slowly catching back up. It's fine. I, I I can't like I can't adjust anything on the fly right now because. It, the, we're not allowed on the track currently, so as soon as it, um, as soon as we go to the gate, that's it. I've got to hope that the volume's okay. Um, what's what volume am I on? Usually about two percent. Okay, for these, yeah, two percent. That's what I ran in last night's stream. And yeah, I think I think we're about to go. Yeah, the track, the track's everywhere. You know, um, it's on MXB mods as well. It's just called Fernley. Um, so. It's just that the the event itself, the race that we're doing right now, was was invite only. Actually, right there, Mullick is the guy that, that made Fernley. He's got that on a bloody on a keybind. Oh god, we're going to the gate. Oh, I need my setup on. Garage. I don't know why it does that. It gets you off the setup and back on. So, and this is part of the fun as well. Um, as soon as the gate drops, we get to pop our 180 and then actually go. So it's not uh not a normal start by any means. It's very very funny. So we'll see how we'll see how the gate trick goes. We done this last week as well, and it was good. Um, this is round three out of four. Uh, there's a fair few rounds of these, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Got to wait for the gate to drop though. Oh, I didn't mean to spin that much. That was bad. Oh, and also they take automatic clutch off as well. Um, and I'm, I'm very used to automatic clutch, so it's uh, it's a little bit weird for me. I've done a couple practice laps of this track. Oh, thanks for... Why do people insist on punting? Of course it's Moto Mika. Every single time I play with this man, he doesn't know how to shut off. If I catch up to him, I am going to punt him, because it's just ridiculous. The amount of grief he gives me. Oh, they haven't made it windy again, have they? Oh, they have made it windy again, just not as windy. It was last uh, last round. The wind speed was maxed out. It was absolutely ridiculous. You couldn't 
like you couldn't go along straight. If I was just riding in a straight line normally, my bike would be constantly, constantly turned into the left. I think it was. Where's my, where's Mika? Oh, thanks. Thank you for spawning and moving forwards there, Mika. God damn it. Not the start I would have wanted it at all, by any means. We'll see how it goes. Oh god. And this track is so, so rough, you know. Uh, it's, it's like the entire track is a whoop section and it only gets worse as the race goes on uh, in terms of roughness. But the whole plan is just to get out in front, try and build up a little bit of a lead, and then when the track inevitably gets super boofed later on, we have a little bit of a uh, like of a buffer to work with. And I need, I need, I need, I need to kind of pace myself when it comes to the tear-off situation. Because 40 minute. Oh god, yeah, look, let's see, I don't think I've done anything there that warranted a crash. Try and turn around slowly so people can actually avoid me. Oh my god, Paris sending it there. <laughs> that was wild. Oh, getting uh, running into Mika again and again. What do you reckon he's going to take me out a third time? And try and. Oh, Jesse's in the lead as well. The man that made the track. That's good to see. I always uh, mistime my, my shifts as well. Where I'm used to automatic clutch and not having to let off the throttle or using the clutch at all. I always keep going to change gear and nothing actually happens. There's a few very, very difficult parts of this track, and especially with the wind now as well, it's going to be quite interesting to see. But yeah, it's going to be quite a, quite a short stream, you know, I'm only going to be streaming for this race. Uh, I've got some stuff to do afterwards, but um, I didn't think it was really worthy of uh, making a video on. I just thought it would be a nice little different stream for the, the few people that really enjoy the, uh, the enduro on this game. Got a good run there. Oh, it's a horrible bump. Oh, God. That was close. Oh, God, we are we are bogging it. Although the sand traction on this game, oh, God damn, it's, uh, it's definitely difficult with Beta 17 as well. So very, very hard to not slide out, especially on this 450. See, this whole straight, I'm kind of having to turn left ever so slightly because the wind's trying to push me right. And I'm not really going to be able to uh, read the chat today, I'm afraid, just because obviously my my focus is elsewhere. Um, but just got, well, I was going to say, just finished watching qualifying. We still got 450B going on, but yeah, let's be honest, who really cares about that? Um, but quite nice of Jet, wasn't it, to uh, shout out MX Simulator? And they then proceeded to talk about yeah, Supercross for the next 10 minutes because they probably don't want to hear about any other game because their game is the best, the most realistic, apparently, in their words, even though it's probably one of the worst games I've ever played. trying to remember this track there so there's there was two tracks that it could have been today because we've already done a couple of the other ones for this series um so it was like 50 50 and the track that I, funny enough i put in like four ish laps on one track and then one lap on this one and of course it was the it was oh my god the wind just sent me so far yeah okay let's get going again the cuts are very strict as well like very 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 strict so um hopefully i don't get too many cuts from going off the track a lot of people get cuts from it's just not even their fault as well. Oh god, I've got to slow down for these or I'm going to go over the bars. Yep, exactly what I thought Mika would do. Oh, I don't understand this man. Just shut off the throttle. Learn how to shut off the throttle. You can see me effing to like, the, the bike's constantly trying to be pulled to the left there. Oh god, that was steeper than I thought. Oh Jesus. Didn't mean to go off the track on the right hand side right there. Wind do be pushing. Oh, I do like these uh, these hard enduros though. It's nice. It's not something that gets done very often whatsoever. Uh, it's a very nice nice change, I think at least. Did I get um? I don't know what's happening with my max hut there. I'm not sure if I got cuts last lap or, or what, but. I mean, it says I'm in the lead at the bottom left, but you see my, my time has just completely stopped, so... No uh, no clue what's going on right there. Oh, 
hopefully as, as the yeah, race goes on, I'll hope I'll get some sort of a flow going. You know, I'll know know what bumps I can kind of double or, or triple, and what, what insides and outsides are smoother than each other. Oh, people are not not really staying within the track limits, are they? By the looks of some of this. Oh, that inside's actually pretty good. The outside there is very very rough. Right, it's not crash here again. It's a second lap in a row. off the track a tiny bit. Hopefully that doesn't penalise me too much. Oh, this, this wind! Oh, it's, You probably can't see it too much, but it's more of a feel kind of thing, but you'll probably be able to see on my... Uh, have I got my controller overlay on? Yeah, I do. You'll be able to see on the controller overlay on some of the straights I'm having to kind of turn rather than just going in a straight line. But I'm very glad that they toned it down for this one. But we, this is the first round where we've had some uh, some wet weather, so definitely a bit more difficult. Okay, <laughs> not sure what happened there. I thought I hit the uh, hit that jump absolutely fine. Let's spin her around a bit. Oh, there we go. Try and hug this far left. The issue is these uh, these bushes are very very dangerous. Probably should turn chat off. It's going to be very distracting. Not, not you guys, by the way. I just uh, meant the in-game chat. Got this, all this rain on my screen. It's starting to look like my GoPro video, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm trying to work out which way the wind's blowing. Okay, it's, so it's blowing me to the left right now, so it's coming from the right-hand side. Which means on this straight, it shouldn't really affect me because I'm hitting it dead on, but it will slow the bike down. And when I get turned here, it should be pushing me to the right more, which it is, yeah, but I'm having to kind of lean the bike over to the left a little bit the whole way. Everyone seems to be hugging this right-hand side. I'm not sure if that's, like, just a fast line or if it's because the wind was blowing them over there or what, but, I mean, I'll, I'll follow it. You know, it gets to a point where um, some of the bumps get quite smooth. Some some get really big as well. It's really hard to work out what the road's going to do. But um, I do think that they crank the road up as well for these races just to make it all the more difficult, which I enjoy. What's the dog doing? Uh, I don't know. What, what is the dog doing? Thank you to whoever just subscribed. Sorry, I can't actually look over and see who it is right now. I am in, uh, I'm in concentration mode. Hardest person to beat today is definitely going to be Skills. He's the uh, next... Well, I was going to say next best. He is the fastest other person in the lobby. Oh, God. Back end's kicking a little bit. Let's slow her down stand up around here. That's not what I wanted to do. Hopefully that doesn't give me any cuts. Can I clear this jar? I'm over the bars. I'm over the bars. Oh, it's fine. God damn. That was, uh, that was a little bit sketchy. Right. Nice high gear. Lug it around. Don't want to jump this too far again and land in the face of that. The, like the wind pushes you further because the wind's coming from behind me now. It will push you really far forward. So if you think normally you would clear the jump, you, you overjump it for miles. God, slow down for this again. Yeah, well, that was a good run through those. Usually it's uh, it's a bit hit and miss on if you get a good run or if you get hung up on a bunch of the tyres. Oh my goodness, what is my back end doing? This is wild. Boing. Boing. Oh, skills is uh, skills is gaining on me. Gained two seconds on me in that lap. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> please, please, survive. Thank you. Oh. Nice and easy. As you see, it's already getting uh, getting a bit wild. Slam on the brakes. What's Okay, that's <laughs> was that the inside that I took last time that was good or is it? No, I think that was a different one. I think I meant to take the outside there. You see, some of the uh, some parts of the track do get a little bit unrideable, and I don't feel like I'm trying to go too fast now either. But a bunch of mistakes there, so uh, skills will be will be gaining. That he's only he's only there. He's only a corner behind. I think this was the inside that I took last time. Yeah, not, nowhere near as bad as that one I took just then. Just bloody knife my front end completely. Oh. 
Okay, this distraction's a little bit ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can't actually uh, accelerate everywhere, I'm just, oh, I'm just half throttling everything. Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> nice and easy. See, once it, once it starts swapping on you as well, in this wet sand, basically game over. You've kind of just got to let go of the acceleration and the steering and just and just pray, really, and hope that it kind of straightens itself back out. Oh, God. Let's try and... Uh, sit stand up around the outside here see if that's any good looks like most people are going to the inside so my skills has been having a few issues as well he would have caught right up to the back of me after those few crashes if he if he didn't go down oh go up high and square it off that wasn't terrible although I do, I do feel like I'm off the track a little bit here oh god I thought I was going down again there Back end's just got a mind of its own. Oh, please, please. And then you add the wind into the mix as well when you're on slippery, uh, slippery sand and bumps, and it's uh, it's a recipe for disaster. It just constantly wants to take you down. Yeah, I'm on. Just got finished uh, recording a video with Charlie as well today. Quite nice to get him back on the game after a while. Oh. So, <laughs> I've just had a look down at the um, the time and scoring at the bottom. So I've got 17 second skills, and then I've got <laughs> we've got a minute <laughs> to P3, which is wild. The gaps that you get in these are actually ridiculous. The last two rounds, I've uh, managed to win by three minutes in both of them. There wasn't really anybody else around, kind of like mine and Skills' level in the first race, so that was quite straightforward. So I'm trying, trying to say this without being too disrespectful. Um, second round, him, he, he did show up. Uh, however, I think he ran out of fuel or his game crashed, one of those two. Um, and Roos was there as well, but we managed to win again by three minutes there. And I can't see it being the case this time round, I won't lie. Feeling a little bit, uh, oh, a little bit sketchy. Please don't go over the bars, thank you. See if I can get a lucky, uh, lucky tyre section again. All right, slow her down. Don't want to come in too fast. Just lean back, throttle. There we go. There's not even much point in trying to like avoid any of them. You just gotta kind of just go through them and, and pray and hope. Oh, that's a little bit smoother. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't expect to go over the tabletop all the way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her going. Let's just hug the inside here. Don't feel like there's much point really in going around the outside. Oh, skill's got a second cut, so that's nice. That's good for me. Four and a half minute lap times, I feel like, are very quick compared to the other tracks. I feel like they've usually been like five, five and a half minutes. Oh, God. That was a proper frame. I just, you get onto some of these straights and you just want to open it up, you know, and just get on the throttle, but you really can't, because even if you're going in a straight line, it still wants to make you do a 360 and spin around like that, that was close. Not going on the inside again here, remember, I like went over the bars last lap, so let's tiptoe around the outside. That was much nicer, much more consistent. Also, do not want to go over the bars going into this left, although I'm going to, because it's so slippery, and in normal Piboso fashion, it made me face the wrong way when I got back up again. I can probably count on one hand in my thousand hours the amount of times that I've crashed still facing the correct way and not had to do a 180. Right, let's take the inside down here. See, the wind, the wind's really trying to, like, push... Oh, I, I didn't mean to pull another tear off. That is, uh, that is no bueno. Oh, skills has, <laughs> skills has crashed there as well. I'm glad it's not just me having trouble with that bit. Up and over that. Hello? Please? Can I fucking just crash so I can get going again? God, this... It's a labour of love, this. Like, I get so frustrated. But then at the same time, I just, uh, I want to do well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
bring back beta 16 traction, please. 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 Look, I barely accelerated and I'm doing a 180. Ah, see, I was getting very close now. That's a lot less than the 21 seconds it was at the start of the lap. Not sure if this is off the track or what, but I just wanted to just wanted to smooth line. There you go, 11. I feel like I'm going so slow. Yeah, I'm very, very surprised to see just under 200 people sitting here watching this because I know not not everyone is a big enduro fan. I suppose it's a it's you're witnessing history, you know, it's a very rare occasion that I stream two days in a row. I'll try hugging the far right hand side over here. Yes, although it's a little bit a little bit sketch. Oh, that's a nice smooth line. Back in's coming out on me again. That's gonna be a crash. Oh god. Getting some very, very close calls. I also keep trying to shift up and still uh, not actually shifting up because of the no auto clutch. Oh, go on, that was nice. Fifth gear all the way along there. It's kind of like grooved out a smooth line, which is quite <laughs> quite rare for these Fernie tracks. Some of the roughest ones you'll ever play on. Oh my god, that was... Oh, that was close. I hate when my front end gets those little twitches. I need to stay far away from that, that bush on the left right there. Is uh, oh, It's got like the biggest collision box you'll ever see. You can be like five feet away from it and still get hit by it. And it's, the, uh, it's the death bush. God, I'm coming in hot. Coming in hot. Oh. Gentle. Oh, for God's sake. How's, how's that happened on the base of the jump there? I hope I don't get like a second or so of cuts for these because barely off the track at all. Oh my God, that was a horrible kick off the face of that. I'm just going to be careful here. Just roll off the edge of it. Oh, this is getting difficult. Uh, what? What was that? Please, like, explain. <laughs> I'm going in a straight line. What the dog doing? Oh, let's try and get through these. Although I can't, I'm stuck. So yeah, skills got through them, okay. Did I get a... Yeah, I did get cuts. Not sure how much it was. I just saw... I saw my name. I didn't see the, uh, the amount of time. Constantly being hooked over to the left. And again, back end coming around on me. Oh! What the dog? I thought, I thought I was right over the bars there. That I framed that so hard. Nice little bit of speed around that corner. Hopefully I can carry that momentum along the straight, but I can't. And again, the bike's facing the wrong way. Oh God, let's get back on the track a little bit more. Right, can we crash on this straight for a third lap in the row? What do we reckon? We good, we good. Skills having a little bit of trouble there. Oh my god. This is wild. And another one. At least we've got a nice battle going on now. See what lines he's taking, see if he's doing anything differently. Never mind. I do need to just ride though and not uh, not look behind too much because I'll just end up crashing. Oh, I think he made a 
little bit of a mistake there. I just looked up on the map and he, uh, he dropped back a bit. Oh, God. I think it's just it's going to be a war of... Please let, please let me go in a straight line. Jesus Christ. The low-speed physics are unreal. And there's another one. God damn it. This genuinely does make me rage so much. Let's try this inside. I feel like, I, like the outside takes so long. Yeah, Mika's given up again, as he usually does after uh, causing us grief at the start. Of course he's going to pull on behind me. Just ride, you know? Just like, just play the game. Oh god. Oh, I thought I was going to crash then. Although I probably still am. Oh, let's, just, let's just put it in fifth. Let's just bog everything. Oh god. Oh god, we're twitching. We're twitching. Oh, almost exactly the same crash of skills had that. This entire race is just people on the limit because their, their wheels aren't actually touching the floor at any point. Is that another crash for me? Yeah, of course it is. Why not? Black face falls that time though, which is, uh, which is nice. Why have I just gone over the handlebars there? I did nothing differently there, to usual. Skills had a little crash as well. So am I. That's fine. We're good. Oh, oh god. Oh, we're already past halfway through though. I feel like it's going, going by fairly quickly. Let me try the inside here. That was probably a mistake. Because I'm not going to get a good run over this jump at all now. And it went too bad. Oh, this corner's so boofed, it's busted. Oh, I dabbed the brakes there. I'm trying to get out of the proper deep stuff, but the wind's like constantly pushing me back in. Oh, skills having some grief there. Just trying to get through these. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Again, the, <laughs> the wind's just pushing me over into him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's tips over here. And over the bars again. God damn, these kickers are unreal. Let's get over that jump this time. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. There's a crash here, 100%. Oh, well, I don't know how I've saved that. I've got times like that where I'm so out of shape and I should 100% be going down. And then other times where I just, you know, ride in a straight line and then yes, <laughs> something like that. Oh, God. All right, let's try far outside, get around all of these bumps. Skills is definitely quicker than me in uh, this part of the track. It does gain a lot of the time. Nice and easy. Nice. Okay. Nice and easy doesn't doesn't apply here. Still crash. Nice and easy again. Wasn't too bad. I just want to make sure that all these little tabletops that I have to step off of, step off of, that I'm taking my time and barely accelerating because a 180 always ensues when I accelerate off of them. I'm generally getting uh, getting cramp in my right hand as well. Don't know how I used to be able to do like multiple Krakenberg attempts in one sitting without my hand just going completely numb. Hello, here you go. Oh, 
easy does it. I'm hoping as well. If I can get a little bit of a gap, then Skills is going to have to push harder to try and catch up. And then in turn, hopefully, we'll, oh, well, oh, 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 we'll make some more mistakes. Stone Riders in P3. That's a good, that's a very good ride. Didn't expect that. What the dog doing? Oh, careful. Gentle. Very gentle. I'll try the inside on this next corner as well. I don't think I've taken it yet. Oh, that is very smooth. I hope I'll see if that gives me cuts at the end of this lap because I don't know. I don't know if I was off the track or not. I suppose the only issue with track sometimes is the um, the, the on and off track decals can be very very similar, especially when it gets eroded away as well. It's hard to tell where the line is. Yeah, that worked, that worked out very nicely. Oh god, no fourth gear, and then as soon as I get in a straight line, bang it up into fifth. There we go. And then just try and stand up and lean back. I don't want to full throttle it because it's so easy to get out of shape here. I just want to kind of take my time a little bit. Come over that. Oh, you can see, so the parts of the track here that are going like a light colour in the road is where it's super deep. So I need to try and stay away from those bits for the most part. They seem to be the bits that are kicking me over the bars as well. As I go into one. <laughs> oh, tie up. Gentle, just dump, jump into here. Oh, there's all loads of deep bits. Trying to move out the line, but the wind's wind's keeping me in. Oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh, I'm alive. I have no idea how. Don't know how I've saved that. Nine times out of ten, I do a backflip there. Just try and stay over here. Stay out of the dark. Stay out of the dark stuff. I'm going to try sending this long way. Just going to jump it a little bit, counteract the wind by leaning a bit, and we'll, we'll carry on with the rest of our day. This corner is probably the worst one for the roughness. Just like tiptoe my way around the track at this point, but if it saves crashing, I'm all for it. Oh. Right, tyres again. Wish me luck. There's a nice line through the middle here that I still skill, saw skills doing. There we go, that was good. It's much better. Now he goes left over here and he's managing to gain a lot of time on me, so let me see. I suppose you don't yeah, you don't spend as much time in the air. Oh my god, that's a rough landing. It's hard as well, because where we've got all these these whooped out landings, you never really know how far you're gonna land and what, what you're gonna actually downside or if you're gonna frame something. Oh, let's get back on the track. So it's always a little bit uh a bit hit and miss, you just have to kind of adjust in the air and just try and land front wheel high and hope that you survive. Let's downside this. There we go. Try and stay out of this rough again. Let's come out of it. Oh, square this off. We are coming up to an, uh, our first proper lapper here. Who is it going to be? Someone on a cowie. You don't see many cowies in this. Who is it? Is that Higo again? Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, so he stopped earlier. I think he must have carried on and started going again. I've done it. I got distracted trying to see his name. I ended up going uh, on the one bit of the track that I detest. He's let me pass. Nice. Thank you very much. I'll say thank you as we go past as well. The search for uh, the search for good lines. I'm gonna hug this inside again. I think Skills has had a few issues there. I've just looked up on the map and he's a little bit further behind than he was this time last lap. Boing, boing. That's a very odd crash. Oh, Skills has retired. Maybe he did. Oh my God! What's going on? I don't. Even, I don't feel like I'm like dumping the throttle or anything. Oh, Skills ran out of gas. That is, that is a big rip. How much have I used? Oh, he must have had less than six litres to begin with, surely. I know the default for the 450s is... I'm pretty sure it's six. I've not even used that yet. Yeah, I always... Uh, I put a full tank in for these races just to uh, just to be safe. So, with skills dropping out there, that puts us two minutes 50 in the lead. Um, we've got nine and a half minutes plus a lap to go, so I suppose we'll just try and see how far we can... Um, how far we can gap everybody. Thank you for the 200 people in here watching. This is probably the race that you'll witness me bitching the most ever on this channel. So enjoy it while you can.
you know, we'll, we'll mop up the tears at the end. Once all the frustrations are gone, there's another crash. But, okay, I thought I was 100% going to uh, going on the ground then. Um, oh, by the way, uh, yesterday's stream, the Supercross stream, in uh, in Spotify, you know, I was playing a, a lovely playlist called uh, YouTube Copyright Free, uh, updated weekly. I got a, uh, I got 11 copyright strikes <laughs> on that stream yesterday. So not a penny of that is going to me. It's all going to the music artists, which is just a pain in the arse. You know, I, I want to have music on the streams to make it not seem so, so like quiet in the downtime when I'm not racing. Uh, so it's just frustrating that I can't get anything, uh, anything good. Oh god. Even like non-copyright, even NCS music sometimes gets claimed, and like literally NCS is no copyright sound, so I've got a YouTube channel, um, but then you, oh my god, then I can't just play that as well, because they get ads in the videos and things, and I don't know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit lost. Can, please! I told you I'd be raging. <laughs> I told you I'd be raging. This is, oh, so hard. I think, I think I'm generally struggling more now than I did in last week's one, when the wind was at like 26, so you generally, you couldn't go in a straight line. I can't be turning fully left on this trait last last week. Maybe it's the pressure of streaming, you know. All the the, the two uh, please 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 yeah the two rounds before this I uh, didn't stream it at all. I was just like you know what, just have a little bit of fun with the enduro guys. Um, I hopped in the Discord last time when I was playing. It was quite fun, but I didn't want to have. There's like ten. Well, there's less now because people have left, but there's quite a few people in the Discord. So I imagine it will just be. Like sensory overload, having that many people kind of like shouting over top of each other. Let's try and take the line that nobody else takes. Tug far left, and then I do need to move back over to the right so I can stay away from the death bush there on the left. Oh, over the tire! No, managed to get round it. All right. I don't know. Um... Oh, please! I don't know if I'm going to stay up and watch the Supercross or watch it in the morning. I feel like uh, so. I slept in a lot today. So after last night's stream, um, it, I went to bed maybe like half hour after. So I, I usually stay out for a couple hours, but yeah, I was so tired last night. I went to bed straight away, and it was oh, it's probably like half past twelve my time, and I woke up at ten today, which you know it's not a terrible amount of sleep anyway. Uh, just went to the toilet, you know, do your do your morning wee and all that, and I went straight uh, like back to bed again, and then I slept until two. So I've literally had like 12-ish plus hours sleep at this point, which is mad for me. I never ever get that much, so right now, currently not too tired. Um, but me, I, I love ruining my own sleeping patterns, so yeah, I'll probably stay up and watch the Supercross. <laughs> what the dog doing? I actually hit that section quite nicely that time, felt more like a, a rhythm than anything. And crash. <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw there, but when I took off on that last little bump before crashing, it's like your bike, like the bottom of your bike moves as if you're whipping, but the handlebars kind of still stay level, so it pushes the bottom, oh my god, it pushes the bottom of the bike from underneath you, which is uh, what makes you crash most of the time, so you can't really, can't bring that back around, you can't preempt it. And drop, step off, nice. I mean, <clears throat> if anybody wants to get good at the game, I'd just do this. <laughs> just throw yourself in at the deep end, you know, practice... Oh my god! <laughs> practice the roughest of the rough and, of course, facing the wrong way again. Thank you, Proposo. I need to make a video at some point of just a counter of the amount of times I crash facing the wrong way compared to the amount of times I crash and then face the right way. Because it can't just be me. It can't just be coincidence. Surely that's... I feel like it's built into the game at this point where the bike stops spinning facing the wrong way just to make it take, like, take longer for you to get going again. And again, facing the wrong way. <clears throat> I've come up to two uh, two guys here to lap, so got a little bit more bit more action on the screen. This straight's really weird. It feels like it's pushing you in, but the wind direction shouldn't be pushing me that way. It should be pushing me to the right as I'm going along. Oh my goodness! Well, that's going to be cuts all the way around. That. Let's try the outside here. We've not tried the outside yet. Oh god, it's not not much better than the inside. What's that? I don't know who that is, but I do not remember lapping them. Oh, 
So there's, there are some smooth lines to be found. It's just finding them is uh, extremely difficult. Oh, look, facing the wrong way again. It's going to be a common like, bloody theme now. I've been over the hole. My hand, my right hand is cramping so hard. How long we got? Oh, God, we've probably still got like another three laps. Because I think I might. Yeah, I'm going to get to the finish line before that time expires, I think. Oh, so free, oh no, it'll be three laps including this lap is what I meant to say. Oh, oh! No idea how that came back round. Just, oh, I let go of the steering and the throttle and just pray. Pray for it to come back in line. Oh, I just glanced across the chat for like a millisecond. Saw someone say Max Rutt in, indoor enduro. Um, the, the indoor tracks, they don't really get rough. Uh, Resolute's made it so it's almost like um, like really hard packed up. So yeah, it doesn't uh, it doesn't actually work like that I'm afraid because I did try. I wanted to do that for a video, but uh, yeah, even on Maxi Road when you ride, it doesn't it doesn't really it do much. Our same riders got a. Uh, Disqualified for the cuts as well. Yeah, he's not a uh, not a happy man. <clears throat> so on, on, I know on bikes, I think it's uh... oh, Para got disqualified as well. It's to do with the number of times you get cuts, isn't it? It's not to do with the amount of cuts because they're only like a second each. Um, I think if you get like five or so separate cuts, it, um, it disqualifies you. And luckily, I'm probably going to jinx myself like I always do in these videos, um, I haven't been disqualified from a race yet or run out of fuel. But I feel like I've been flirting with the edges of the track quite a lot in this race and I think I've only had one cut so far for one second. So I don't know where people would have gone to get so many more. Oh. Hello, Stone. <laughs> oh. 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 Gone over that. Yeah, see, I didn't get didn't get cuts that lap either, so it's quite good. Let's not crash into this corner again. Nice and gentle. Thank you. So there's been a lot of people going on this side of the track. I remember that there was a horrible kicker on that bump, so I just humped the life out of the bike trying to uh, get her back. Oh, Resolute's been disqualified as well. Oh my god! How did I get the drive for that? <laughs> oh, I, I don't really care about that crash. I'm quite uh, quite impressed with myself there. So that's like three people have been disqualified now for those. Jesus. Oh, please. Please. Thank you. Let's go this way. Stay away from the bush on the left. And then stay away from the bush on the right. Almost get kicked over the bars. This I am in Painville right now. Population me. Please get back on the track. Thank you. Boing. Boing. It's the last like two laps or so of these races like that. I I could not do anything to save that. So, yeah, the last two laps or so of these races are absolute murder. Like you you gotta be so gentle and careful everywhere. And lap times go from like four and a half minutes to five and a half minutes plus. Nice and gentle round here. Oh, oh, oh. Can't imagine how quick please. Please, Poboso. Then I'm going to face the right way. Oh my god! Oh, it's a miracle. We're facing the right way again. Praise the Lord. Oh, up and over this. I'm just going to tiptoe around the inside here. Stand up on the pegs. It's going to be my biggest victory so far, but really only because everyone else has been disqualified. Oh, it's been three minutes in the other rounds. It's now 3.48 currently with one and a half-ish laps to go. Gentle... 
suppose the more you can wheelie, the better, but I ain't, I ain't got the skills to hold a, a wheelie around the entire track. Without getting kicked over the bars, that is. Oh my god! Just like that. Oh my goodness. Can I? I can't turn. There we go. Handlebars were stuck against the fence. A lot of these crashes as well, they happen so quickly that you just you haven't got time to correct them. So I'm very excited for Aerial next week. As it's, I think it's Daytona next week. I know Daytona's usually round 9, but I think it's round 8 uh, for us this year. Please, thank you. Um, so I think that'll be fun, you know. I imagine that... It's going to be very, very rutted, like pre, pre rutted by Stone since he's made the last two rounds over ruts already. Um, so I, I am excited for it. I've got a, I think it's a 45 point lead right now. So nice, nice little cushion there. So it's really not the end of the world if we only get like a top five or something. But of course, it's always, it's nice to win as much as you can. Happy with how I rode yesterday. Because even when I was uh, down bad at the start in Moto2, uh, I got, got yeeted. I don't even know who caused it or if it was just an MX bike swing or what, but yeah, I didn't... Uh, oh, I was down very bad at the start of that. Managed to come back to P2, which is always nice. Which really did help for the overall as well, because even with a first in Moto1 and a second in Moto2, I still needed uh, at least a second in the uh, in the last race, so done myself a lot of favours there. Or it could have easily given up some points to Rubes in the championship. Can I go around this? I feel like everyone's gone inside here. What's the outside like? That's not too bad. You get a bit of a a bit of a run onto the straight. Just I'm just scared every time my wheels leave the ground at this point. Exactly like that. <laughs> oh god. So we've got Oh my goodness, I looked down at the bloody scoring for a second. We only got six people still uh, circulating the track because of the amount of people that have got disqualified. Oh, look at that, the track crate is getting cuts on his own track. Very smooth throttle. I just don't want to light the back end up on these, uh, these rough bumps. God, I suppose in terms of how rough the track is right now, this this lap time's only gonna it's only currently 20 seconds slower than my best for this race, so can't be unhappy with that at all. Especially as I feel like I'm going at a snail's pace around the track. I've got a second to cuts there, um, but we're on the last lap now, so even if I get a second this lap, I don't think I'll be disqualified. I don't think I've got enough uh, to get disqualified, but we shall see. Cross my fingers. God, I've had to just take. I play when I play. I've got my elbows on the armrests of my chair, and I feel like that's part of what's causing me to get like hand cramp and like pins and needles in my hands. So I'm just trying to take my elbows off, but it feels so weird. It's like just not my usual position. Yeah, I'm on nice and easy. Oh, over that. Stay away from the bush. Oh, thank God. That bush is another one that's got uh, like a massive collision file, so you can, you can hit it even when you're not, not touching it. Third gear. Who's that over there? Number 22. That is Jesse, the Trek Rater himself. I wonder if we'll be able to catch up and lap Jesse by the end of this lap. It'll be quite cool, lapping the, uh, lapping the Trek Maker. Just got to play things nice and... Uh, Oh god, I was going to say nice and smooth consistent as I almost loop out on a straight. Okay. Am I going to face the wrong way? Of course I am. Thank you, Pippo, so very cool. Slowly over this. Just going to stand up. Hopefully absorb some of these bumps. As I love sitting down and, and turning, it's just how I've kind of learnt the game. Oh my goodness. So yeah, standing up feels so foreign to me. I always feel so awkward when I'm stood up, especially around like low speed corners. 
wide open ones doesn't um, doesn't bother me as much to stand up around them because it just kind of makes a bit more sense. But yeah, the really low speed ones I uh, do struggle to wrap my brain around sometimes. Oh god, we're getting sketchy again. We're we going over the bars again. No, nope, survived it that time. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to uh, lap Jesse, you know, he's he's getting away from it. But he's in P3, so that'd be quite funny, lapping up to P3 if I could. Hug this inside, that, that's so much smoother than the rest of it. Then I want to kind of cut down here. Oh my god, didn't want to do that. If I can stay out wide to the right, a bit smoother. Boing. Oh, yellow flag. Jesse's having problems. That's good for us. Please don't slide out on me. God damn it. Now I've seen it so hard to get that momentum back and get going again. Screw it. We're going we're gonna to gas it. We're going to go for it. Oh my god. There he is. Can we lap, can we lap P3? Oh god. At least I'll save him the trouble of having to do another lap if I do. Oh no! Big dead. <laughs> I'm not sure if I made him crash there or if we both just happened to go down at the same time. I haven't taken this outside yet, I don't think. Oh. Have I got the tear-offs left? I do. I feel like I've been very well behaved on tear-offs this race. Oh. We have uh, one corner left. And then I can finally unwind my hand from the massive cramp that I got going on. Did not manage to lap P2, unfortunately. So yeah, trip we'll have to wait and trip test will have to do another lap. Oh! Yeah, we'll uh, filter our way through here. And that is it. We are done. We are finito. Oh, one by four minutes thirty six. Lapped up to P three, which was uh, which was pretty good there. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, went to default, so oh yeah, that's fine. That was good skills. Um, it was a bit of a shame that that happened. I feel like it would have been a nice close race to the end there. It was always within within like twenty seconds, just depending on who uh, who messed up. <clears throat> let's have a look. Oh, Jesse's Jesse's on stream. Need to wave to him. Uh, let me have a look at this. What's going on? Walk around, yeah. Okay. Uh, the track is called Fernley Sandbox, I think. Oh, Jesse wants a uh, wants a picture over here. Let's get over here. Bloody winds pushing me out of the way there. Jesse just wants some pictures. Yeah, sorry, let me read the chat a bit. Good morning. Oh god, Matthew, you're definitely an Australian, aren't you? I'll see it for you at the moment, like half seven in the morning. Yeah, not as bad as last week, but it's definitely still windy though. It definitely messed me up quite a few times. Yeah, it's beta 17, I mean. You can't, not, I'm a G, you can't race when you're not on beta 17. Oh, I couldn't imagine having allergies. Uh, I've got um, a few people in my family have... Um, what's going on here? Like, every time I raise my hand, it like nudges me forwards. Yeah, I don't... A couple of people in my family have hay fever, but luckily I've, uh, I've never struggled with that, so it's quite nice. I haven't got to deal with any of that drama. 
and we're just waiting for everybody to get on there. Only, oh, I have no, I don't know. It is, I don't want to go back to the pits, but. It should just be one, one file, I believe, so the late, latest Fernie one. Because I think he might, I think he might have updated the traction ever so slightly. <clears throat> um, I don't, I don't know the exact amount, to be honest. It's on Steam, though, so just, I literally just load up Steam and, and have a look to see how much it costs. I know it went on sale around Christmas time, but I don't think it is anymore. Just holding the uh, like the finishers party for everyone. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's not going to be one of them streams where I carry on doing lots afterwards. You know, uh, I've got some other things I want to do tonight. I've got some videos to edit. Uh, I want to record another one, if at all possible. It's what's time. It's currently it's almost half past nine for me. Um, oh, insane finish as well. Nice. That's always good to see. You got a second cuts there. I'll tell you what. What happened last round is somebody got disqualified on the very last lap. You know, when you cross the line, he had one second of cuts on the last lap, and it just uh, just ruined it. So. Yeah, this is um, series gonna write for me. This is so this was round three out of four, and it's like Olympic scoring. So first place gets one point, so on and so forth. So I don't know what the scores are like, but uh, yeah, safe to say I'm in the lead. I've won all three. I do uh, I do like my enduro. You know, I, I I like the challenge as much as I get frustrated by it because goddamn, I was uh, I was crying a bit at the start of that race. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a I think it's tomorrow actually that I've got a sim video going up. Um, and then I do need, I need to play Detroit as well because I know Detroit released the other day. Um, I, I made I made a bunch of videos on Wednesday like pre-recorded, and that's when I done my sim video. And I didn't realise that Detroit was coming out literally the next day, so I'd have to do Detroit at some time like qualifying wise, see how it goes. But um, yeah, no, still doing them, just not as not as much really. I need someone to side into Jets DMs though and tell them to play MX bikes rather than MX sim. I have also, <clears throat> I, I don't, I don't think you guys can hear it, but I can feel it like in my throat that after talking for four hours straight yesterday on the stream, and then even just an hour today, like my my voice is going. So I, I won't be streaming tomorrow at all, but definitely make some more videos tomorrow. I think uh, I'll do some, do some bikes. Might do another sim one, and then I'll see if there's anything that kind of interests me on uh, MESX5. Which you probably won't because I feel like I've already done everything on the game, you know, it's pretty boring. <clears throat> what the dog doing? I, I don't really mess around with beta tracks too much to be honest, Joe. I just like play the new tracks when they come out. Especially as well as if I play one and people expect me to make a video on it, I haven't got the heart to tell them if it's shit, if it is genuinely shit. <laughs> there you go, there's that race done. Um, yeah, I'm not going to hang around and like stream much longer. I just thought this would be a, a good race to stream rather than make a video on. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't know if I'll do it next week. We shall see. Uh, depends Depends if I'm uh, in the mood for it or if, if I'm still about, but... Um, yeah, regardless, I hope you've enjoyed that. Something very, very different, you know. We don't do many races like this, but um, it's not like a Krakenberg, for example, where it sucks all the frames out of your computer. Um, so streaming isn't actually too bad. Um, definitely a challenge. Probably one of the hardest races that you can do on the game. So if you want it a, a real big challenge for yourself, just download this track, put the rain on, bump the road up a bunch, and put a bit of wind on as well, and see how you get on, really. Um, yeah, that's fine. Mm, I don't, <laughs> I don't appreciate people telling me when to make videos. You know, I'll, I'll do stuff when I do stuff. Um, I'll get around to stuff eventually. You know, I was, I'm, I'm a busy man. I can only do so much. But uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it for me. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna go make some more stuff.